you know, I don't know about you, but have you ever been in like a relationship or um, a job where you knew that you'd grown past it and you could never go back after you left it? You know, there's something in your life that, that you finally arrived at this place, you know, this, this awesome place that is home, you know, within. And you just can't go back. I can never go back to the way it used to be. And, and that's kind of what we're talking about today, this, this above and beyond, this, this place that, that is beyond forgiveness, you know, or, or not beyond forgiveness, but beyond the pain of unforgiveness, beyond the anger, beyond all the stuff, you know, that we go through. There is this energy of home, and all of us have it within us. You know, it's this place of peace and calm that we talked about. That's the place that, that we are. That's who we are. And all the other stuff is just there. And when we can let it go and work through this whole process of forgiveness and um, the anger that we have, we belong here. That's, that's, that's the spirit within us. And every single one of us, there isn't anybody here that doesn't have that and doesn't reach it quite often. But we can be there all the time. We can do that when we go through the process. See, you know, that I know that going beyond, that's what we're talking about, going beyond this whole idea of pain to be there is a process. And it's not a process that we just do, and then all of a sudden we're free and we're home and we're beautiful and everything's perfect because it's not that way. It's something that repeats itself, and it's something that we work towards. It's something that is this process that you, you have to go through. And last week I, I talked about you know, the 4F process, and I'll tell you, that's exactly what we're talking about. It's about feeling it, you know, going through the pain of what somebody did, what you perceived, being the victim, whatever it is. It's feeling it, facing it, forgiving it, till you finally can fly, till you are just free, free of it. That's the process that we, that we go through. And as we start to go through it with each little hurt, we become a more forgiving person. We become a more loving person. We become home. We live the home that we have inside. The more that we do it, the more that we forgive. It's this, this transformation. It's like alchemy. You know, it's, it's, it's being able to take these lower energies that are fear, you know, anger, and taking those and turning them to something that's beautiful, turning them to gratitude and love and seeing differently. That's the process of alchemy, and that's our whole spiritual journey, is to take these energies and to be able to transform them within us till we become different, till we live the sacred inside of us, until we start to see each other differently. That's the journey. It's the journey of what I like to call the soul. It's soul power, because each of us have this authentic soul power within us. And, and when we tap into that, our lives change. We live free. We live differently. You know, it, this whole process is a stage, right? We, we go through all of these stages, and, and every one of us, I don't care how <coughs> spiritual we think we are, we get down to that bottom, often sometimes. And, it's, it, and, and Fred Luskin talks about these stages, and he talks about, you know, I think there's four of them. And so, you know, the beginning stages happen to all of us, and that's when we're so angry, we're right in it, right? Something just happens to you, someone says something, someone offends you. It's this justified anger that we think it's, you know, it's, it's justified that we can be angry. We're hurt. We're mad. We blame. That's the stage one, you know, until we get to the next stage. And then we start to realize mentally that we're sick of it, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. We want to move on. You know, it's time to go to the next level. I can't stand to be sick and tired anymore. You know, there's too much hurt, too much pain here. And, and this takes sometimes, for some people, days, sometimes it's months, and sometimes it's lifetimes of being in these different stages. But there is a process that you go through, you know? And, and finally, he says, we have to look at what the problem is, you know, at this stage. We realize that, see, at the first stage, we're feeling these problems. You know, they hurt. And at the next stage, our problems become the problem, or our feelings become the problem. Because we can't stop getting, we can't stop them any longer. The thoughts go around and around like a record player in our head, and we're feeling the pain. And then it's time to start looking at it. It's, it's time to move forward. And he says that, that we start to remember how good it felt to feel good, right? It just felt good not to have those problems anymore. It's like, who are we talking about today? Somebody that had been sick for a while, and then all of a sudden they're not sick anymore. It just feels better to wake up and say, oh my gosh, I don't feel it any longer. I don't feel that pain. And that happens. That's the process. You know, all of a sudden one day, I remember the day I, I finally didn't mourn my divorce. Ten years or more <laughs> before I finally didn't, you know, could get through it. 
you know, and, and it takes years. But there's one day you wake up and you're free. You know, you've gone through it and you feel free. Doesn't mean that I hear a song and I'm going, you know, bumps out again, you know. But you, then you go through the process again. But it is a process. And if we make the choice, you know, we make a choice. Sometimes we have to make a choice in, in these, you know, unforgiveness things that happen to us. We have to make a choice if we're going to completely let go of it. Or are we going to, you know, and not come back to the person? Or are we going to come to the person and make amends? I, you know, you have to decide what to do. But, let, but a forgiveness is just a letting go when it's coming to peace within each of us. It's coming to peace in your heart, feeling it, you know. Um, the truth is when we get to the end, and the end is, you right, starts the beginning again. I want to make sure I'm not saying that you can just forgive and then all of a sudden it's perfect because it's not. But finally when we, when we realize that we don't want to live that way anymore, we want a different kind of life. You know, and I, I can just see it in my life. I, I knew, I knew I was ready to fly. I knew that I was ready to let the past go and not go back there, that I changed as a person. And I couldn't go back if I wanted to. If he wanted to, I couldn't go back anymore, right? Because you've changed, you've made it different. And I wanted to live a soul-connected life. And see, and, and that's huge for me, I know it is for you, is that I don't want to live alone, isolated, as an ego. I want to feel the warmth of connection with myself. Does that make sense? I don't want to have two of me in here. You know, I want to, I want to be connected. And everything I do come from my soul level. And that's what we're talking about. I want to start to, to, to re respond from my soul instead of react from my ego. You know, that, that's, that's the difference is that when we start to go through this process, we start to realize that who we are is different. Our identity changes. You know, we start to realize that we're more than just this isolated little ego. You know, we have the power of God with us. However you want to call it, the power of spirit. We have a lot of power inside. And when we can move and live and have our being in that power, our life changes. And we have the power to change everybody else. You know, you learn to love yourself. That's huge. When you can finally come to terms with loving who you are, you can love the other person. And I'm not sure it can work the other way around. I'm not sure you can really love somebody fully until you appreciate and love who you are. I, I, I think that's true. You know, so many times, you know, I hear people say, you know, well, this is just the way I am. You know, it's the way I am. And I don't believe that for a moment. I don't believe you're just perfect and I don't believe you're just bad, right? I think that it's a dynamic process. We as human beings have all these personality parts and we live in, in, in this dynamic universe where everything changes, our personalities changes, everything changes with us. And, and I think once that we start to get it, that we aren't just this, you know, um, single person, you know, um, I don't know how to even explain this, but we're not just like a, a rock, you know, where you're bad or you're good, but you're all of it, that you have all these personality parts, and some of them are perfect and nice and gratitude, and you can do this, and then some of them are mean, you know? Some of them aren't very nice, and we all have that, right? But the more we get it, that, that we can respond from the soul and start to, to embrace those parts of us, the more that we live in joy, the more that we change our lives. See, these different parts of us are our personality. They come and go. They come and go. So just the way I am doesn't work. You're not just that way. Because when you become aware of the part, see, here's, here's the trick, is to become aware. Step back and see yourself when you're in pain. See yourself when you're in anger, when you're in jealousy. You step back and you see it, and you can choose not to act on those painful emotions. You can choose. Because a lot of times, when we're in it, we can't choose. We just re we react. But when you can breathe, step back, and respond instead of react, then you have changed, you know, to, to healthy and constructive. See, I, I, I just, I always have believed this, since I've been a kid, that we have this, like, sacred contract with God or with the universe. You know, you and I have this separate, all of us are separate, but we're united, we all have it. We have this idea that, that, that the energy of God flows through us to do something in the world, right? There, there's a reason we're here, is what I'm saying. You know, and this meaning and purpose flows through us. We know what it is that we're to do, and what it is that we're to do is to realize that God self. And when we realize that, everything, the opportunities, the energy comes through us to do that. See, our life has purpose. Our, we know our soul power when we know that we're more than the ego, then we're more than just those personality parts. So our whole journey is to, to not, not think of us as an isolated personality. Right? To identify with something bigger. 
you know, and every time that we have the courage to be able to feel what's going on underneath of the sensations, you know, instead of um, blocking them, like if you're starting to feel anger, it's courageous, very courageous to take a step back, to let the anger go through you, to feel it. That gives you the power and the courage to be able to move forward with the healthiest part of yourself. See, it changes. It, it, it's like last week I talked about the energy moving through you. And if you've got this anger, you, got, you can't just stifle it, right? And, and I know for so long, especially, I, I, you, you, Judy and I both talked about this because we don't do anger really well. You know, we just aren't angry people. But there, I remember going to a um, psychiatrist, <laughs> not psychiatrist, a psychologist, I guess, anyway, after this divorce and stuff, and I, oh, everything was fine, nothing hurt me, it's okay, you know. And I wouldn't show anger. And he finally said, you got to show some anger here, girl. You know, to get through this, you have got to at least feel. And I get it now, you know, that I can feel, um, but I don't have to respond out that way, right? I can feel it underneath, I can work through it, and then I can step back and respond differently than, than punching somebody's lights out, right? You know, I mean, there's a different way. There's a different way to do it. That, that um, when we get a choice to how are we going to respond from our healthy self or from this you know, dysfunctional self, because we have, all of us have a dysfunctional self within us, whether, whether we think we do or not. And our whole journey is trying to not, you know, be there, but to be able to move forward with our healthier self. See, and that's what creates soul power. The more that we stay in the healthy part, the more that we are in tune with the Spirit of God. And the more energy opens up for us to do the work that we're to do in the world. And when we do that, we start to see people differently. You know, and I think that's the whole thing with forgiveness. You know, we work on these little acts of forgiveness, right? Oh, that's what we do now when somebody does something, we work on it. But pretty soon, we just become a forgiving person, a loving person that sees everything as a play, right? This is the play of the universe. You know, we don't take offense at everything. You know, we see that, Judy calls them people suits or costumes, whatever they are. We see that each of you guys are really, you know, just wearing this costume, this lifetime, this personality that will be dropped. But underneath it's a soul, this incredible soul level. You know, as we sit here, we're all lights that are shining, that are the same, that are one, that are, you know, awesome and unique and beautiful. But you're expressing now as a little blonde person, as a little brunette person, you know, you know we're all expressing differently with different clothes. We're having fun in this life or not. You know, and we're not that all the time. We drop the costumes and our infinite self, our light goes on forever. And when we can start to identify, see, with the lights in each person, we don't take the offenses then so, so to our heart, right? Somebody can't say something to you where you're going to be sorry for your whole lifetime and mad at them because you know that they're just a soul like you on this journey. We're all just on this journey, doing it the best we can do. And that's the kind of life that I want to live, you know. I want to be able to just live a life of forgiveness. If somebody says something, not take it so personally. I, you know, and that's what we're to do. That's what a forgiving, loving person does. Does it work all the time? No. But that's our journey, is to be there, you know. What I know is that there are only souls, you know. You look differently, but you're souls. And there is only love. There is only love. There's one power, one presence in the universe. We say it every prayer, we, every song says it. But really get that, that at the soul level, we're one and we're love. Everything else is commentary. I, I read that before, isn't that <laughs> Everything else is commentary, you know? So, so here's our, our, our you know, um, invitation is to live at this soul level, you know? Because I know that if you're like me, you know, we just have gone too far. And if you've been at Common Ground for a while, we've gone too far to go back to the way we were before we were here. We can't do that. You know, we, 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 our home is here. Our home is that power and that presence and that love. And we can never change it. We can never change it. Home is here and forgiveness gets us there. Thank you.